and Trayvon Marshall. What's good, Trayvon? What's up, what's your time? Oh, man, I'm chilling. Coming off of a vicious third round knockout of Root, what is it, Rowdy or Root? Uh, I think Rowdy, Rowdy Lolo. Lolo. Rowdy Lolo. Yeah. And your return bout, how you feeling, man? Man, I'm feeling great. Great to be back in front of family and friends. You know, I, do, I think, well, I was out for four months after the, my last loss, so I was eager to get back. All right, now, let's talk about the knockout. Um, you said it was a right hand. It started. It started with the uh, the left uppercut, and then the right hand is what finished them. Now, was that a shot that you saw the whole night, or it just materialized? No, nah, right definitely, I definitely saw it the whole night. I felt as though um, early in the fight, I was looking and trying too hard to, you know, going up top. Once I started touching his body, slowing him down, that's when the shot started opening up for me. Now he was a decorated amateur, wasn't he? Like an Olympian or something like that? Um, I'm not for sure. I'm, I'm not for sure. Yeah. I don't know too much about his background. I know he's a what, six, one, and two dude, yeah. so he, he came to fight for sure, tough competitor. I, th I think he was an Olympian in whatever country he's from. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, as far as you go, like, why was that the right fight for right now? Um, you know, just to get my legs and, you know, my, my confidence backed up under me, you know, didn't want to jump right back into a, you know what I'm saying, a big a big fight like that. So, you know, I, I don't question my team, whatever they, you know, whatever they say, I'm with it. Did you have something to prove to yourself? Definitely, hell yeah, definitely. Definitely. Even though I know what comes with the sport, you know, I, I I knew what risk I was taking type, you know what I'm saying, type time, but I I got short term memory with it. I'm on to the next one. This, this was your fourth fight this year, including the loss. And like you said, you jumped right back into it after four months. Um is that like the same type of schedule you wanna keep for twenty twenty four? Yeah, hell yeah, definitely activity. Yeah, definitely wanna stay active. Definitely. I, and and coming off that loss and now getting a victory and getting back on track, uh, can you talk a little bit, um, being only 23 years old, what, what that's like for a fighter like yourself with your pedigree to, to face live bullets and not just sparring and wait around for the phone to ring? Man, that's, that's, that just shows um, my separation and what level I'm on, how much my team believing in me, you know, and, and the hard work we put in, it, it shows. No, no cut corners. Right. So, um... What do you have in your own mind? I know you, the right thing to say is you want to wait for your team and, and let the business take care of itself and you just stay in the gym and you train. But uh, what do you see for yourself in 2024? Do you see like another one of these types of fights or do you see like, all right, I'm back on track. It's, it's time for bigger I'm, and better. I'm, I'm ready to go, bigger okay. and better. That's, that's my mentality. I'm, I'm ready. On to the next one. Keep it rolling. Okay.